Hi everyone, I'm David Butler. Uh, so glad that you are here at Real Questions. Uh, I seriously love this series so much. If it's your first time, welcome. What happens here is we bring somebody on who has a question that they are just struggling or working through and we bring on some guests to kind of talk about that. Um, this question today, you are going to love so much. It is a, such an important question about situations that aren't necessarily ideal and how we navigate those and be a disciple of Christ in like a changing world and, and just changing situations that we have. So we've got a young woman from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. She actually lives in the UK. I want to introduce you to my new friend, Scarlett. Hi, Scarlett. Hi. So happy to meet you. What city are you from? Harrogate. It's near Leeds in Yorkshire. Scarlett, it is so fun that you are on here. And it's rad that we are connected across the globe with each other. So that is one good thing about COVID. Because would we have met otherwise? Maybe not. So that's one blessing of it. Listen, this, I love the question that you submitted. I love what you are thinking and wondering about. It's a, it's a scenario that a lot of people um, find themselves in more and more. And I think it's important to talk about it. Sometimes people might think, oh, this is not the ideal. So I don't really want to bring it up or I'm, or I'm kind of the minority, but I think this is, there are so many people who love that you asked this question. So can I read it to everybody? Yes. Okay, and do you want me to read it in a British accent or American? British. Okay, here we go then, darling. I live part-time with my dad and part-time with my mum. How was that? It was, was that a fail? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go back to Texan because I'm better at it, okay. You said, I live part-time with my dad and I live part-time with my mom and they have different beliefs. What are some of the things we can do to stay focused on the gospel when we have different viewpoints in our own family? Holy moly, that is such a good question. Talk to me a little bit about that situation. Well, seeing as they don't have the same beliefs, they, um, they can influence me in different directions or like... Um, that one of them's okay with something and one of them might not be, so. And it's kind of hard to know like which one to pick or you don't want to offend them or <laughs> it seems like that would be um, so tough. Do you have other friends that are kind of in that same situation as you that? Um, yeah, a couple. Yeah, and you guys talk about that? Like mm -hmm. what it is like to kind of handle that? Oh, listen, that is... Uh, uh, that is tough. Um, I want to talk about that with you, but instead of just me and you, I want to bring in a couple um, surprise guests to talk about this together. So I want to introduce you to my friends, uh, Sister Bonnie Corden. She is the president of the uh, Young Women General in the Young Women General Presidency. We're also going to have um, Brother Stephen Lund, who is the Young Men General President. You two, I am so excited for you to meet um, Scarlett. You cannot wait to talk with her. Isn't she I darling? Start. You love her already, huh? I, I love having yeah. friends in England. Sister Corden and Brother Lund actually got a copy of your question um, before they jumped onto the call. So they have been thinking about that and been so excited to um, see your face and, and just talk with you about it. So um, Sister Corden, this is, I'm sure, something that you see so much as you minister to so many young women around the world in different scenarios and situations. I'm curious, can we start with you and just what are your thoughts on this for her? Well, thank you, David. Scarlett, can I ask you a question? Yes. First of all, I have to tell you, thank you. Thank you for asking this question because there's a lot of young people girls and boys that have that same question. How does this all work? What are you finding that is the easiest about this situation? Um, when I have other friends that I can talk to about their situation and I can relate to them and we can give each other help. Oh, I love that. So what, what counsel would you tell somebody in this situation? What would you tell them? I would tell them to follow prompts that they get and to keep praying like don't distance yourself from the gospel I love that that is a fabulous response I love 
to not distance yourself. Mm -hmm. And I like what you said that one of the ways to not distance yourself is, is actually getting on your knees and, and, and praying. Because as you do that, there's so many things that come to your mind as you pray that you can ask the Lord for help. One of the things that came to my mind when you said that was to pray for your mom and your dad of how you can share your heart, share those things that are very important to you. But I have a question for you because it goes along with exactly what you said. Do you brush your teeth every day? Since I got braces every day. <laughs> braces do that, don't they, Scarlett? Yeah. I had braces. Do you do it, so you brush your teeth at your mom's house? Yes. Yeah, do you brush it at your dad's house? Yes. So every day, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it fascinating? Well, why do you brush your teeth every day? To keep them clean. Keep them clean. Oh, that is so good. I have an idea for you, Scarlett. What if you did this? Because I know you're a busy girl. What if you only brushed it? Let's just do it one day a week, like on Sunday. Let's brush for 15 minutes. What do you think? <sighs> Won't keep your teeth as clean. Yeah, no. So just like you said, prayer, just coming to the Lord every day, whether you're at mom's or at dad's, what would that do for us? Help us connect more to okay. the gospel. Yeah. What's another connecting thing for you at the gospel? Um, reading my scriptures helps a lot because yeah. I can find little quotations in there that guide me. Oh, I love that. And you know, as you do all of these things, remember, seek to share just in normal, natural ways around your house, because I can already see you're a, a brilliant light. And um, I love the invitation the Lord gave to let your light so shine. The light of the gospel will shine through you and they're going to feel Christ's love because of all the good things that you do in every place that you're at. Oh, that's beautiful, Sister Corden. Just to remember, like, no matter what situation she's in, that she can connect with God and find that peace and, and find that strength to help her handle whatever questions or scenarios are coming up. I think that's such beautiful advice. Brother, Brother Lund, what, are, what have you been thinking about this? Well, I'm thinking that I, I love this question and I love Scarlett. It's, it's such a great question because you ask this question because you love your mom and you love the gospel. And so you don't want to forsake either of those. And those are all holy instincts. That, those are true. You know, 10% of the Ten Commandments are about loving your mom and dad. And so it's a part of our, of our very religion for us to respect each other and, uh, and, and maintain those relationships. Heavenly Father is not through with your mom or your dad or you or me or any of us. And as we continue to all live the gospel together, we're going to, uh, you, you, you'll see that nothing's permanent and things can get better as time goes on, as you maintain things. You know, everybody, I love this question so much because everybody is, as Brother Butler was saying earlier, everybody lives in this space. We're all surrounded by people who we care about and who care about us. Who don't believe the same as us. Now, it's especially hard from you because you are so close to these people who are a little bit divided, but it's as you learn the skills of how to navigate this relationship, you're going to, uh, you're going to learn how to navigate the relationships that you'll run into all of your life about wonderful people who haven't quite uh, got the vision that you have. So my question to you is, who's in your life that is on the team? You know, are, are there people around you who are supportive of your values yes um my friends are very supportive even though some of them might not go to our church or believe our beliefs they still support me so that's huge that uh, is that's huge. huge all right so let's start there we'll cling to those friends that support mm -hmm. us in our righteous beliefs and your example will change their lives you'll see now later their mm -hmm. lives are going to be different because of your light we could go on like this and you would say well, my bishop or branch president, and there are people in my ward or branch. Are you in a ward or in a branch? A ward. In your ward. So there are folks there that will be uh, good support to you. And then as Sister Corden was saying so well, there's always Heavenly Father. And, uh, and he's always on your team and he's always available to you. And so, um, you know, sometimes always 
you know, doing the right thing against a headwind, like you sometimes have to do, requires courage. You strike me as a pretty courageous person. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm proud of you that, I'm so proud of you that you're asking this question. And I'm just very confident you're going to find the answers. Man, I, Scarlett, I think every person in this room, I mean, as Sister Corden and Brother Lunder are talking, one of the things I was thinking is they both have lived in situations that weren't very ideal. I mean, would both of you say that is true? That life has thrown its curveballs. And what they're, give, what they're telling you is when life is not ideal or when you run against a struggle, which everybody's going to, they're all going to look differently. They're giving us advice of where to go to for strength to be and peace and guidance to navigate that. You know, that consistency that um, Scarlett was talking about as far as saying prayers and things like that and relying on people like President Lund was talking, those are invaluable. It's nice to be able to have a, a bucket of things that will really help us um, and give us comfort as we're trying to navigate. Scarlett, one of the reasons we're so confident that you're going to be okay is because you, you know what we know. And that is the gospel of Jesus Christ isn't just somebody else's good idea. You know, it's not just another good idea. It, it's, it's the very fabric that this universe was wound around. And, and understanding that is going to help you to live a great life. And the people around you are going to be blessed by your good life. Mm. Scarlett, what are, uh, do you have questions back? What are some of the things that you've yeah. heard that you think, oh, that is so good? Just the fact that what I'm trying to do is praying and reading my scriptures will actually help me to stay connected with the gospel. And do it wherever you're at. If you're at mom's house, you do it at mom's house. If you're at dad's house, you do it at dad's house. And those connections, doing that same thing that we do all the time, it just strengthens us and it makes us stronger and we see things a little clearer. So it will, it will be a lifeline for you. Yeah, yes. I mean, Scarlett, when, when you said, Sister Corden said this and Scarlett, you said it also that life is always going to change, but there are some things that can always remain constant. No matter what life looks like, you can stay connected to God and you can stay connected to the gospel. Whatever curveballs come, that one thing is never, ever going to change. We're so thankful for your example, Scarlett, of navigating such hard situations and showing how life can still be sweet and still be good despite all of that. Yes, thank, thank you for being willing to answer my questions and help others as well with, the, with similar questions to mine. Yeah, thank you, Scarlett. Everybody, thanks for joining in with us. Thank you, Scarlett, for showing everybody how they can be brave and ask questions about any kind of situations because there are answers in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We will see you next time um, on Real Questions. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Scarlett. Thanks, David. Bye. Thank you all.